who's ready to take a trip back to the past. Thanks for joining me on my tours of cemeteries, gravesites, memorials, and final resting places of the famous and infamous people who are gone but not forgotten. Hey everybody. You don't have to be a cowboy to be buried at Sunset Hills Memorial Park and Mortuary, but it certainly doesn't hurt. And there are a lot of cowboys and cowgirls buried here, including the king of the cowboys, Roy Rogers, maybe the queen of the cowgirls, Del Evans. They're buried. Here's the gate. So bright I can't really see my screen, so I don't know if I'm pointing in the right direction, but there's the gate. And they're buried just inside the gate to the left, just right behind that tree there. This uh, beautiful waterfall that you see in here behind me. It comes down and it uh, rambles through uh, a pond that goes almost all the way down past the graves of Roy and Dell. And I'm trying to stand in some shade right now. It's a very warm day, gorgeous day. One of the most interesting cemeteries I've ever been in. I would say this is truly a cowboy and cowgirl cemetery. It even comes with horses. The hills here, you can see, very rugged and deserty, just like you've seen in so many Western movies and TV shows. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of these hills here were locations in some of the TV shows and movies that we've seen in the past. I know we're in Apple Valley, California. You can tell I need to get something to drink. I, I left my water in my car, so I'm going to have to head back soon. I'm getting parched out here in the, uh, the dry desert. Behind me, you can see the valley, Apple Valley, Victorville, Hesperia. We're in the high desert, so it's a lot cooler here today, even though it's probably around 100 degrees. It's a lot cooler than it is in Palm Springs, which is where I came from. Instead of going directly to Roy and Dale's gravesite, I'm going to take you on a tour of the cemetery first. If you're not interested in seeing the cemetery, you can just fast forward to the end. And if you do make it to the end of this video, you'll find a few extra grave sites that I thought some of you might enjoy. In addition to all of the cowboys and cowgirls buried here, there are also quite a few residents who decided to be remembered for having a great sense of humor. I've saved a couple of the funniest headstones and epitaphs to last. And there are a couple of very moving and memorable headstones as well. And down below this video, I've included a link to my Google map of today's tour. I know some of you like to see where the graves are located from above and in relationship to each other within the cemetery. As you know, I've visited lots of cemeteries over the years, and I've seen lots of wildlife, including turtles and rabbits, peacocks and swans, deer, and even coyote. But this is a first. This is the uh, first cemetery I've ever been to that has horses. It's uh, pretty appropriate since this is where uh, Dell Evans and Roy Rogers are buried. Hello there. And I feel like I'm on the set of a, uh, a movie, a Western movie. The, play, the I guess the Apple Valley or Victorville Airport is nearby and you hear small planes flying over occasionally. Reminds me of the, uh, the Western TV show Sky King, one of my favorites when I was uh, a kid. So, I mean, this is one really cool cemetery. Doesn't look like Trigger's there. I think I've seen videos in the past of the cemetery where they had a statue of Trigger. I'm not sure where he is now. I, I believe they moved him to another location downtown. So I'm not really sure why they have horses here at the cemetery, but I'm glad they do. I've seen just about every other type of wildlife here. So why not a horse in a cemetery with two of the most uh, famous uh, cowboys and cowgirls in history? It just uh, seems appropriate. 
And it's funny, as you're, uh, as you're driving here, you really do feel like you're driving back in time into the Old West. There's lots of ranches, lots of horses, smells like horses out here, lots of dirt and boulders and rocks. And one of the most interesting and unique cemeteries I've seen so far, and I've seen a lot of cemeteries. So I'm gonna go check out some of the other niches and crypts here and cenotaphs here embedded among the, the boulders. It's really creative. Behind the stables, up on a hill among the boulders, is the private mausoleum of Robert Allen Greiner, or possibly Greener, I'm not sure how he pronounced his name. Greiner owned a car dealership in Victorville, not far from the cemetery. The rustic Spanish mission style mausoleum is very eye-catching and impressive, especially the way it's set among the boulders. I've definitely never seen anything like it before. Not far from the mausoleum are the crypts of Bonnie and Earl Cusack. As you can see from their epitaphs, they were cable and color television pioneers. The Cusacks owned the very first television store in Apple Valley. They also started one of the first cable TV channels in the country. And even though they're not in a private mausoleum, their final resting places are just as impressive, nestled within the boulders of the hillside. I've never seen crypts and niches placed so naturally among the hillside boulders like this before. Have any of you? I'd be curious to know if anything like this exists anywhere else in the country, or maybe the world. I love this epitaph. It kind of says it all. We was here. The Waz family memorial is near the Cusacks. Robert and Lorraine Waz were early Apple Valley pioneers. Doug and Judith Waz were Apple Valley developers. And what's especially interesting about this family is that they named the street that the cemetery is on. The Memorial Park is located on Walu Road, which I just assume was a Native American name, since so many of the cross streets getting to the cemetery are Native American names or words. But it turns out that Walu is just a made-up name using W-A-A -A from their last name combined with Lorraine's initials, L-E-W. So it's pretty fitting that the family is buried here on the street that bears their name. There are quite a few other prominent local families buried here among the boulders. And I'm going to take a short stroll around the hillside just to give you an idea of what it looks like and how unique it is for a cemetery or a memorial park. As I'm walking along the various paths through the hillside boulders here, and I listen to the small planes flying overhead, it really brings back memories of my childhood friend Steve. We were both big fans of the Western TV show called Sky King that I mentioned earlier. We used to watch it every Saturday morning before we went out to play. And at the time, as a kid, I had no idea that it was being filmed not far from where we lived, right here in Apple Valley. From what I've heard, the airport scenes were filmed here at the Apple Valley Airport. And then, in another one of those weird twists of fate, Steve died here in Apple Valley about 10 years ago. Here's an old picture from the 1960s of me and Steve and my brothers trying to get up the courage to jump into our ice-cold swimming pool in the middle of winter. That's me on the top left and Steve on the top right. At the time, I was told that his cremated remains were given to his family, but I can't help wonder if maybe at some point his ashes were interred here. 
so I'm looking for his name in all the niches that I come across just in case. And I'm definitely thinking about him and remembering him today. Not only is this one of the most unique cemeteries I've ever visited, it's also one of the newest. It opened in 1995 and isn't even 25 years old. The Roy Rogers and Dell Evans Sunset Chapel only opened in 2007. And if you're interested, you can read the plaque that explains how it came about. The chapel doors are closed today, but there's plenty to see on the outside of the chapel. The walls on the outside of the chapel, on either side of the front doors, are lined with niches. But even more interesting are the corridor walkways. The hallway floors are covered in memorials and messages. I'm not sure if these are buried niches or just cenotaphs and memorials. I'm guessing the latter. As you walk down the hallways, you notice that there really are a lot of cowboys and cowgirls either buried here or remembered here. These might also be people that contributed to the building of this chapel. It seems similar to the places I visited where people purchase a brick or a plaque with their name on it to support the building of a memorial. Many of the memorials seem to be fans of Roy Rogers and Dale Evans, which made me wonder how often fans of celebrities or famous people choose to be buried in the same cemetery as their idols or the famous people they admired. I guess probably the, one of the best examples of this was Hugh Hefner purchasing the crypt right next door to Marilyn Monroe. He was obviously a fan and wanted to spend eternity next to her. If any of you know of fans who have chosen to be buried next to their favorite celebrities or stars, please share that in the comments section. I think that would be really interesting to know. Even though it hadn't really occurred to me before, I'm guessing it probably happens quite a bit. And I guess if you're a diehard movie fan, it makes sense that you might want to be buried at Hollywood Forever Cemetery, or a similar cemetery where many movie stars are buried. So it also makes sense that if you're a cowboy or cowgirl, or a fan of Western movies and TV shows, that you might just want to be buried here at the Sunset Hills Memorial Park, along with Roy Rogers and Dell Evans, and the many other not-so-famous cowboys and cowgirls buried here. So again, if you're planning to be buried here for that reason, please share with all of us in the comments section. If you visit this cemetery in person and you're a cemetery art lover, take a look at the front doors to the chapel. The brass relief mural is very impressive. And it looks like it tells the story of the careers of both Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. I was curious and wanted to find out more, but the chapel is closed today, so I wasn't able to get in and ask anyone. I'm starting to see quite a few gravestones with this same brass relief treatment that tells the story of the person's life. It's really a great idea and very realistic. Here's a view from the backside of the chapel overlooking the fountains next to the area where they hold the outdoor services. Like most, if not all, cemeteries, there's also a veterans section here as well. It includes traditional ground burial grave sites as well as niches. The walkway leading to the flag and the niches in the center of this section, as you can see, have plaques honoring the different branches of the military. You can also see that this is one of the sections with the artificial turf. I'm starting to see it more and more in various cemeteries here in California, especially the cemeteries that are located in the desert areas or nearby. For such a small, out-of-the-way cemetery, I'm really impressed by the number of creative and interesting and memorable epitaphs I've come across today.
Now I'm going to head over to the grave sites of singers and actors Roy Rogers and Dell Evans. As I mentioned at the beginning, their graves are just inside the front gates to the left. For those of you who might not know who Roy Rogers is, he started his career on radio as a singer. In 1933, he helped form the Sons of the Pioneers, which has become one of the most popular Western singing groups of all time. They began by performing on radio around the country, and then in 1934, they recorded their first records, which included Tumbling Tumbleweeds and Cool Water. Both have become Western music classics. Then, in 1935, he went on to become a matinee idol in his first movie as a singing cowboy, and soon he was challenging Gene Autry for the title of America's Favorite Singing Cowboy. From the 1930s to the 1950s, he was one of the top box office draws. His popular Roy Rogers radio show ran for nine years, and his TV show ran from 1951 to 1957. Del Evans was already a popular actress when they met in 1944 while making a movie together. They later married and appeared on their TV show together. It's hard to remember them ever not being together. Del Evans even wrote the theme song Happy Trails, which they sang at the end of every episode of their TV show. It's such a popular and iconic song, it's hard to imagine anyone in the world who hasn't heard it. Buried next to the couple is Alice Van Springsteen. Springsteen was a cowgirl in her own right, and she was a movie and TV stunt double for Dale Evans for most of her career. She also acted as the stunt double for many of Hollywood's leading ladies who appeared in Western movies and TV shows. Alice was married to Robert G. Springsteen, who was a prolific B-Western movie and TV director. I wasn't able to locate his final resting place, but Alice's ashes are interred under her memorial bench here with her close friends, Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. Here's another angle of their final resting places from the opposite side of the pond. I bet many of you have never seen anything quite like this. It's not your typical cemetery, but the desert landscaping is definitely appropriate for the high desert location. Some of the sections in the cemetery do have real grass, but the majority of the green grass that you see in the cemetery is not really grass. It's astroturf or artificial grass, which definitely helps with water conservation. And I like it because there are no loud lawnmowers in the background of my videos. Because it's a newer cemetery, there appear to be quite a few prime locations still available. If you're a fan of Roy Rogers and Dale Evans, it looks like you might even be able to be buried near the couple. Not everyone buried here is as famous as Roy and Dale, but as I explored this very small cemetery, I did happen to notice a number of other couples with very moving and memorable gravestones. I've seen popular music lyrics used as epitaphs on gravestones many times, but this one is especially poignant especially since it's in the veteran section of the cemetery. Obviously, this couple were diehard In Excess fans. In addition to all of the cowboys and cowgirls who were buried in this cemetery, there are also quite a few people who have chosen to be remembered for their sense of humor. And this couple definitely had one. 
I couldn't help but laugh when I noticed this funny gravestone and epitaph. And the wife said stone is even funnier. My mother warned me about him. I would sure love to know the story behind these two grave markers. I'm sure it's a funny one. If the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise is a saying I've heard many times over the years, but it's the first time I've seen it as an epitaph on a gravestone. And this is probably the most popular epitaph. I've seen it in just about every cemetery I've ever visited. But it never gets old, and it always makes me smile. And how about this famous last line? Heaven just got a little more fun. And so did this cemetery with his very memorable gravestone. I really love how an epitaph can completely describe a person in just a few words. After reading his epitaph, don't you just feel like you know this person now? And doesn't he seem like the kind of person you would have liked to have known when he was alive? We should all be so lucky to have an epitaph like this. And last but not least is one of my favorite epitaphs, and it belongs to James Fuller. He was an assistant director of popular TV shows for more than 20 years. Some of the shows he directed include Diagnosis Murder, Monk, Weeds, and even glee. So for today, that's a wrap. So I hope you've enjoyed my tour of the uh, Sunset Hills Memorial Park today. I've really enjoyed it. It's been one of my favorite uh, cemeteries to visit. And there's even a couple of shade trees here <laughs> out in this very hot uh, desert uh, day. I did like today's tour. If you're a cowboy or a cowgirl, or no, no a cowboy or a cowgirl, Please give this uh, video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave your comments about your favorite uh, cowboys and cowgirls, whether they're buried here at the cemetery or another cemetery. And if you have any favorite memories of any of the people that uh, I visited today, please share that with all of us. We'd love to uh, hear the stories. I think that's my favorite part of these videos is reading everyone's uh, personal comments. If you have anyone who's buried here, Quite often I do these videos and I hear from viewers that they have family members buried. I would be very surprised. I mean, it's a, a newer cemetery, very small, out in the middle of Apple Valley. It's pretty remote. So I'll be very surprised if someone sees this and says they have a loved one buried here. If so, please leave a comment. We'd love to know who your loved one is who's laid here to rest. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And don't forget to click that little bell button. I just discovered recently that if you want to be notified whenever someone uploads a YouTube video that you subscribe to, click the bell button and then you'll automatically be notified of that person's video. There's, I have about a dozen channels that I watch regularly and I never click the button. And so most of the time I would hear about them, but quite often I would miss. So I would just go back and check periodically myself, but it's, I would much rather see it as soon as they upload their video. I'd like to go see most of these. These are channels that I really enjoy. So if you enjoy this channel, and I know there's at least a couple of you out there that do, please uh, click the, the bell button if you haven't already. And I'll hope to see you next time.